Sam Peña, I'm the uh, fire chief for the city of Houston, and this is Los Líderes. You know, um, I was uh, originally born in Los Angeles, California. Um, I'm the first uh, generation U.S. citizen. Both of my parents uh, came from Mexico. And, um, you know, we had, uh, you know, a, a story not unlike uh, a lot of uh, immigrants now. Uh, my parents crossed over and, and uh, you know, they went through that process and, you know, obtained their, their residency first and, and, and eventually, you know, decades later, their, their citizenship. But I was a first generation U.S. citizen. Um, and when I was about six years old, my parents moved to uh, El Paso, Texas from Los Angeles, California. Um, so that's where I grew up and that's, uh, that's been home. Both my sons, I have two grown sons, 29 and 25. They're both still in El Paso and I have two grandchildren who are also in El Paso. And so, um, you know, up until about uh, two and a half years ago, uh, that was home. And that's where, you know, we made our lives and, and that's where my wife and I met and stayed until, except for the time that I joined the Air Force. So for four, about four and a half years, I was away from there. But that's been home. And now Houston is our home. You know, a leader has, has to have a vision. They have to be able to communicate the, the needs of the community, right? They have to be able to articulate the, the why and, and, and where we want to get to. Uh, and then they have to have the ability to, to mobilize people, to uh, empower people, and to have them commit to, to development and to assist in the change that, that, uh, that needs to happen. Well, look, it's, it's, uh, it's important for us, uh, especially as, as minorities, to, uh, to be represented uh, in leadership positions. Um, we have a, an obligation to our, to our communities, right? As, uh, especially as, as minorities, to, to prepare ourselves to be able to take advantage of, of situations and uh, to be able to jump into leadership positions. Um, once you arrive there, I believe that it's, it's incumbent on us to ensure that we're preparing, that we're preparing the pipeline uh, of other future leaders to be able to take that uh, opportunity, you know, when when those become available, um, it's important. It's important for for our um, cultures to be represented in the history of this country. You know, it's important uh, for us to be to see other people in leadership positions that that look like us, that that have similar backgrounds than us. Um, because that is serves to inspire others to succeed to to do better and to make their communities better because it is about community uh, spanish was my first language it's a it was a language that was spoken at my home uh, up until i started school um, i remember hating it back then right that i didn't know english because starting in grade school you know i was a i was almost like the, the troublemaker not because i was but really because I couldn't understand what, uh, what, was, what they were asking of me, right? But now, I, it, it is a huge benefit. And it's something that, that I learned the importance of. And to the degree that my, both my kids are fluent in Spanish, we spoke Spanish to them in, uh, in the home. My grandson, who's now seven years old, his first language was Spanish. And it's important, it's critical that, that, uh, that, that we provide those, uh, those gifts to our kids, right, of a second language. Uh, not only because it serves to keep the tie to your heritage, but also because it's, it's a, it provides such a huge tool to be able to succeed in, in this country or, or anybody else, anywhere else, right? I mean, the, the demographics are changing. Um, and being able to communicate uh, and articulate yourself uh, or articulate things and, and communicate in two different languages is, is critical. It's critical, especially when you're in a position where you are in charge of, in my case, 4,000 firefighters. They all have different backgrounds. They all have uh, different experiences, different languages. So, so having the, that opportunity to, to increase my ability to communicate, to the ability to communicate directly with the community, that uh, the Spanish-speaking community, 
is critical, uh, especially when, when we're talking about public safety and security. So, so um, you know, what I hated back when I started school, the fact that I, that I didn't, uh, that I only spoke Spanish, now has become a huge tool and a huge benefit to, to what we do for this community. Um, certainly, you know, uh, family is important. Family is important uh, in, in the Hispanic community. Uh, church and family, that's what I remember. Sundays, you know, I had to go to church, um, but we always had a large gathering at, uh, at our house. Whether it was uncles, whether it was cousins or friends or whatever, it, it was always a, a family was important and it was a vital part of our, of our upbringing to this, to, this, to this point, you know. Um, right now it's only my wife and I here in Houston as far as family, but we still have friends, we still have family uh, relatives that, that come and visit uh, regularly and, and we try to do the same because it is important to stay uh, uh, connected um, to that support system. And so I think uh, more than anything, um, besides the food, right? Besides the food, uh, family is, is, the, uh, is the key element in, in certainly in a lot of Hispanic uh, uh, cultures. Mm -hmm. The most thing that I'm mo mo more proud about or most proud about um, besides the, uh, you know, my family and, and what they've been able to achieve is, uh, is the ability, the, um, I guess, the gift that I've been uh, offered you know, in able to serve my community uh, and serve my country, whether it's in the Air Force or whether it's in public service in, in communities, whether in El Paso or here in Houston. You know, I've been given that opportunity. Um, I've been offered that opportunity from the community to serve, and it's a huge responsibility. And, and it's something that I don't take lightly. It's something that I, that I truly, truly appreciate and, and, and I'm honored that, uh, that they entrust certain things uh, uh, and responsibilities in me. And so that's what I'm most proud of, to be able to give back to this country and to these communities that have given so much to me and my family. What I would say to my 14-year-old self is, is uh, to be proud of where you came from, to embrace your, your heritage, to embrace diversity, because that is what, uh, that's what this country uh, is about, you know? Um, and, and, to, and to keep moving forward. Always keep moving forward uh, in, in anything that we do, you know? Um, and to remember that once you, leave, once you reach a certain level of success or prominence or stature or position, that you have a responsibility to reach back and help somebody else achieve uh, what, you, what you've been able to achieve. My name is Sam Peña. I'm the fire chief for the city of Houston. And this was Los Líderes.